The news now and attempts to make buying cigarettes less appealing have been set out by the government today. Supermarkets in England will have to take them off display by next year. Small shops by 2015. Cigarette vending machines will be gone before the end of this year. Our consumer editor Chris Choi reports now on the latest attempt to cut smoking. It's a new war on smoking. Vending machines will be banned. Plain packs for all cigarettes could be coming and further controls on internet promotions are under consideration. But first comes a ban on shop displays. Well, I think it'll make a lot of difference, particularly to young people, because obviously if they're not seeing uh, triggers, they're put next to sweets after all, then that's going to be uh, great for them. So starting with larger stores in April next year, tobacco displays like this will disappear from view. Then smaller outlets like this will follow suit three years later. It'll change the layout of stores and also how the staff have to operate. Tobacconists claim customers will go to the black market and shop redesign will be costly. People will always smoke. Um, surely it's better that they buy from a legitimate retailer like myself and from some chap on the street out of a carrier bag and they've no idea what they're buying. Surely the whole point of displays like this is that they make products look attractive and everybody sees them. Teenagers, kids. The government's own research didn't identify display or plain packaging as a cause for youth smoking. The new legislation is part of a five-year plan targeting the 21% of adults who smoke in the UK. Figures show 463,000 hospital admissions among people aged 35 or over were due to the habit. Smoking-related illnesses cost the NHS more than £2.7 billion a year. But 77% of the pack price of tobacco, raising around £11 billion a year, goes as tax to the Treasury. Tonight, the health secretary told me he won't meet the industry to discuss their anger at the ban. We are going to work with industry wherever we can, but actually I'm, I don't think we can work with the tobacco industry. He's never met the industry, which now claims he has no evidence for a display ban. There's a lot of evidence of places where the reduction of smoking associated with a display ban, but also there are other things happening at the same time. So, no so we do have evidence. to work hard to get the evidence and we to be clear about the evidence. Already transformed by warnings and graphic pictures, tobacco and its packaging is likely to become less visible. Meanwhile, the health secretary won't see the industry at all. Chris Joy, ITV News.